And we continue on Fox 19 now. By the way, uh, heads up, we will be taking you uh, to uh, President Biden's comments. He's expected sometime this hour to be making comments on the Ukraine uh, situation, the continuing situation, and we'll bring those to you uh, as they come. But in the meantime, inflation setting records, a housing market that has made home ownership virtually unattainable for many, and gas prices through the roof. Many financial professionals say when it comes to a recession, it's not a matter of if it will happen, but when. Uh, we have an expert here joining us this morning. Good morning. Uh, good to see you again. I know we've talked in the past. And, and I guess the question, Steve, uh, is that how can we be prepared? I mean, it, 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 we said it in there, there in the intro. It's just a matter of when, right? Well, of course, no one has a crystal ball, Frank, but uh, it sure looks like recession's on the horizon. And I think it's time to tighten up try to, you know, put a lid on non-essential spending and try to, you know, maybe cut back by 8 or 10 percent in the next 30 or 60 to 60 days. Yeah, and, that, and that's really tough, though, for a lot of families because I feel like a lot of folks have already tightened up because everything is so up. I mean, you go and I forgot what we bought the other day. My wife said that's for, that was really $8. I feel like it was 4 bucks the last time I bought it. I mean, so we are tightening up, but you still need to live. You still need to, you know, put gas in your car to get where you have to be and pay your bills. Yeah, it's an uncertain time for sure. I mean, obviously, we're just coming out of the uh, two-year pandemic, and I don't know if we're, that we're out of it necessarily, but we've got war in Europe. Inflation's at a 40-year high, and it doesn't look like it's going to stop anywhere soon, any, any of these things. So uncertainty is the flavor of the day. Yeah, and, and you, you bring up a good tip here. Sell some things off and make it around your house. I mean, I sometimes do the Facebook Marketplace thing where, like, old kids' toys, where, you know, you make 20, 30 bucks off something. But you say, you know, uh, collectibles, coins, baseball cards, that sort of stuff. Yeah, time to clean the closets out and the attics out yeah. and everything else and see what you can see what's just sitting there collecting dust that might be able to uh, collect a little cash for you. Yeah, that could bolster uh, the emergency fund out there. Uh, and subscription cutbacks, too. I, you know, I, I started doing this. You see this pop up on social media all the time, these uh, apps and whatnot to bundle all your subscriptions and see what you're spending. Because you may have signed up for something, a streaming service, to watch a show six months ago. You don't even use it anymore. Yeah, we looked the other day, and we, my wife and I, we had five subscriptions to Netflix. I, I have no idea why or how that happened, but somehow I'm drinking too much wine, and I'm resubscribing to Netflix or something. <laughs> Something's going on. But, yeah, look at the subscriptions and sort of the unnecessary spending, especially the things you don't use. You're, you're speaking my language. One of your tips was cut out maybe, uh, you know, the, uh, the luxuries of alcohol. Maybe, maybe we, we, we save the wine cut out for the very last. <laughs> yeah, don't cut back all the way. Maybe just a little bit. Maybe 10% off the alcohol yeah, budget. Yeah, very good. Uh, and reposition your savings, right? Most of us keep our, our money in banks, uh, which pay less than an interest, 1% of interest. So look at, you know, some investments. Yeah, think of it this way. Rich people don't keep their money in banks, yeah. only for convenience, a small amount for convenience. But the banks don't pay, as you say. And then they charge us 17% on credit cards, and they make the spread, which is what makes them so rich. So look at putting, get, work with a financial professional, help them, help have them help you reposition your money. Yeah, good tips, good tips, Steve. Always a pleasure talking with you. Where can we find the book? Uh, HowMoneyWorks.com or Amazon. Okay, Steve, appreciate it. Have a great day. Thanks, Frank. See you later. Okay, uh, it's 9.47 right now. Uh, some rain showers early.